Saucy Noodles in space! Now that we have colonized all the planets that we can colonize in our system, let's explore other systems. How do we do that? We have to build a scout. So we'll go to vehicle size, escort, design type. Now the type that I want in here isn't actually in here, so I'm going to add a type and we're going to name this scout. Perfect. Let's go down and select it. So he is now a scout design type. And we're going to name this guy Scout 1.0. And he needs a bridge, life support, and a crew quarter. Bridge, life support, crew quarters. Let's give him the max amount of engines so that way he can go as far as he can per turn and try to open up as much of this space as possible. And our remaining space is going to go into supplies. Let's He'll be able to go farther without having to come back. Excellent. Good. So why don't we build a couple scouts. There we go. And we're going to put repeat build. So once this is done, it's just going to build another one and then another one and then another one until I come over here and change it. Excellent. So we had our new colony. As mentioned before, he, they found some ruins, right? And that gave us a new tech level. Uh, we have achieved tech level to an explosive warhead, sire. So that's something that I don't have to research. Look at that. What's a mine warhead? A mine warhead is a warhead you put on a mine. <laughs> and it makes it go boom when something hits it. We also have a cobalt warhead. You can put this on a ship and turn it into a kamikaze ship which makes things very fun and interesting and then of course we also built our first miner on that new planet excellent now there's not much i can do because both of our building queues are full and we have no ships in space right now so that's pretty much it our research is still grinding away um, up here these two buttons here are two uh, buttons that you're going to use a lot. First is going to be your ships and units. Now we don't have any ships or units in here right now um, so we'll come back to this in a little bit and over here is our construction queues and anything that can build something is going to be here so whether that's a planet or that's a ship or that's a base that is going to be in here. Now both of these already have stuff in production so we don't have to do anything here. Excellent. We've now built our first rad extraction facility and our first scout. Let's go find that scout. If you want to go back to that log, hit log. We're going to hit that and we're going to go to go to. And this is going to take us directly to that scout. This is going to be useful later on when you have a lot of things going on and it starts getting a little confusing. So let's give this guy some orders. Now I can manually direct him to go to various spaces or... I can give him automatic orders to explore and the computer will send him off into other places until he finds other um, systems or if he finds baddies. Now he has opened up this system here which is just north of us and here are some green planets. Now as before I mentioned the green planets have uh, the oxygen that we like and it's a it's a planet that we can colonate on now because it has the atmosphere that we like it has opened up the entire planet and it's going we're going to be able to put a lot more on there so we want to colonize these things yeah there's these are good things to colonize so why don't we send some colony ships up here how many colony ships let's see one there's three planets in this system so that's a rock that's ice we can't colonize that one yet and that's a rock. So that's one, two, three, four. And there's two planets in here. Five. Yeah, because he's a rock. So we need five colony ships 
to go into here. So let's go back oh, over here to our main uh, our main home, and we're going to turn off the repeat build and build five conquerors. That's going to keep this planet rather busy. Good. We'll click our ships and units key and see that we still have our scout, which is the guy that was in there, and he has two movements left, so we can actually give him some more orders. So let's make him explore more. Beautiful. All right. Excellent. New tech level. We have our second capital ship missile. We have an organics farm facility constructed, and we have made our first contact. We've encountered a new race called the Nalto Group, Sire. Now, we have no idea what kind of a race these guys are. They could be friendly, they could be mean, they could be both. Uh, all we know is that they have these two planets, and they've already have some satellites up in space here. And these satellites most likely have weapons, which means if I were to launch my guy into this space, he would likely be exploded. So we're not going to do that. We're going to make him just continue to explore. Good. Our ships are all good. Um, we're going to go over here. We're going to select how these are presented by facility. And this will show us how many facilities they have, what they're working on right now. And this will be key later on when we're trying to find planets that are still working or not working on things but still have space. So we can maximize what the output of those planets are. Beautiful. Our research is doing good. Our queues are doing good. Our ships are doing good. Let's continue. Uh-oh. Here's our first combat. Combat in system Mentoka. Between the Pie Makers Empire, that's us, and the Nalto group. Personally, I think my name is cooler than the Naltos, but that's that's me. Let's begin. Okay, so we have one ship each. Uh, we haven't combated yet, so we haven't lost anything. That's them. This is me. Now, there's two different ways that we can play this out. We can play this out the strategic way or the tactical way. And we'll run through both of those as the combats come up. But let's hit strategic. Now, the strategic, as you see, has just auto-completed the, the, uh, the combat depending on what behaviors I have set for my ship. Now, this ship here, because it had no weapons or anything of that sort, it was automatically set to just run. Just run, don't talk, don't negotiate, just get the hell out of there. And he had enough engines to outrun this ship. So they, after 30 turns in this combat, uh, he was able to escape. And we'll, when we open up the tactical combat, you'll see that play out in slow motion. Good. Oh yeah, there he was right there. Excellent. We have a facility built. We have another scout. That's perfect. He's going to go the other way. So why don't we go to him right now. Scout. Go to. Select. And explore. Now he's going to go in a different direction. Because we've already explored lots up there. And we haven't explored down here yet. So he's going to go down there automatically. There we go. Oh, this scout still has movements. That's right. Because he opened up another system. And let's make him explore more. Good. Now, I'm going to keep setting his orders to explore until his uh, supply uh, meter goes down to about halfway. And then I'm going to send him back to get resupplied. Um, if I just continue to send him out into space, eventually this is going to drop down to zero. The moment that drops down to a certain point, he's going to lose all of his movements. So he's only going to be able to limp through space one space at a time every turn. Uh, and eventually he, uh, that ship is going to start to fall apart. So we don't want that to happen. So at about 50%, I like to send him back to a resupply depot. Um, your home starting planet is going to have a shipyard and a supply depot. So I can repair at the shipyard and resupply at the supply depot. 
Excellent. Now, Detran 1 has finished its queue. All the facilities are complete. So right now, it's just sitting there producing population. Sometimes it's happy, sometimes it's sad. Um, but we're going to make it do stuff. Now that we have found our first contact, and it, he's in here. Now, we can't see his stuff in here right now because we don't have a ship in this sector to look at him. So we just know that there's planets here, and we just remember that there was something in here. There was that guy, I think he was like here, and maybe here, and he had some satellites here. So why don't we start amping up our defenses a little bit? Because right now, our planets are rather undefended, and all he has to do is just send one ship in here and start sending bombs onto our planet. So... One of the first things I like to do for defense is build satellites with weapons. Space Wars, as it is. So we're going to go into Unit Designs in our Design tab up here. And we're going to go Create. And we're going to create a satellite. Our vehicle type will be a small satellite. Eventually, we're going to start being able to do larger satellites with larger spaces. Our design type is going to be Satellite. And... We're not going to do the design name yet, and I'll show you why. Now, right now, we have been researching these weapons here, and as you see, there is uh, the, the various tiers of those weapons. So we have our 1-2 of capital ship missiles and our 1-2 of depleted uranium cannons. Um, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to select only latest, and that is going to get rid of, on our selection screen here, all of the l older models. See? Now, this uh, satellite needs to have at least one computer core. Bang. And now we still have 70 kilotons left of space. Now, normally I would like to have one capital ship missile and one depleted uranium cannon on there because they both do different things. The capital ship missile can only fire every three turns in combat, right? But it has a great range and it has a big impact. Um, but it, like, as I said, I can only do it one every three turns. So that's really good to have at least one on a ship, so that way I can set it off in the first turn, and then it sits and recharges while I shoot my depleted uranium cannons. Obviously the range is a lot shorter on this, but I get to shoot it every turn. So in actuality, if you take this and this, this is every three turns, this is every one turn, you, turn, you times this by three, it's 75, that's 75. So yeah, I mean, it all kind of bounces out, it's just this has a better range. So, but we don't have enough room to put both those on there because that equals 80 kilotons and we already have 10 on here, which will mean there would be 90 and I would be over as indicated by the warnings here. So, what are we going to do? We're going to design two different satellites. The first satellite is going to be just depleted uranium cannons. We're going to be able to fit two on here, just like that. And then we're also going to build another satellite with just a capital ship missile. And we're going to name this 2 times Depleted Uranium Cannons Level 2. Perfect. Create. And let's also create our other one. With a capital ship missile. Just like that. There is still 20 uh, kilotons left. Um, and I guess we could put a supply storage on there, but satellites do not use supplies. It doesn't move anywhere. They just shoot stuff. So we're just going to, we don't need it. It's, it's, it's obsolete for this purpose here. All right. Oh, and we have to name it too. So we're going to name this one times capital ship missile level two. Create design. Beautiful. So why don't we set this planet here that does not have anything in production, because this one already has stuff going on. It can only build one thing at a time. We're going to set this to build our satellites. And we're going to go one per turn. One turn's worth, sorry. And this is going to be one turn's worth. Now, depending on what you have on your satellite, we determine how many it can build in one turn, how many resources it takes, so on and so forth. And you can look more into details about that in the creation screen. But in two turns, I'll have eight satellites that will do lots of damage, and that's fantastic. All right, close. He's now building stuff. 
Our research queue is nice. Our movements on our scouts, they all have orders. Construction queues are going. We are done. Yes? Yes. Okay, end turn. All right, we have built five uh, uh, satellites with our depleted uranium cannons on them. Excellent, let's go to that. So now in that planet on the indication uh, bar here, we have a little satellite picture. And that means that we have satellites stored in the cargo. Right now I can hold uh, up to 800 kilotons on this planet, depending on the planet and the size and, and whatnot will determine how much cargo you have on that planet so it's doing nothing sitting in our cargo here so let's launch our satellites and we're going to do that by launch recovery units and there they are sitting in our planet right there and we're going to launch them into space good so now that satellite group which has our depleted uranium cannons on them is sitting in orbit around this planet. So if any baddies were to come and occupy this space and try to attack our planet, they're going to have to deal with our satellite group. And you'll see that later on when that happens. Excellent. Let's check our queues. Oh. Uh, now if you go into your ships and units menu here, you're going to notice that the satellites are now there. Uh, but since these guys are just stationary and they don't really do anything, I can't really give them a lot of orders. They're more just automated. Uh, we're just going to take the units off for the time being so that way we can just focus on the orders on our ships. And let's go to the guy that has uh, has movement left. Now he has discovered this space here and in this space we have a Pantresa star. Uh, medium average, red average, solid core remnant of an eons old destroyed star. And obviously this star has gone supernova, has destroyed everything in this system and all that's left are a, a couple asteroid fields. We can't do anything with asteroid fields just yet, but we will be able to do stuff with them later. So let's send him on his way. And of course in our system, our home system, we actually have a binary star system here. Uh, this is your average white star, and this is an ordinary orange star of average age. Um, right now, this doesn't mean a lot, but as our technologies build up, we'll be able to do stuff with these stars. We also have um, an asteroid belt with various resources in there that we can't harvest just yet, and of course the planets that we can't do anything with yet. Let's move on. That all looks good. You're still researching things, and go. New tech level, some bigger, badder depleted uranium cannons. We've built our our um, capital ship missile uh, satellites, and we've also built another uh, conqueror. So let's go to him first, and let's fill him up. If you don't put population in here, and you try to go to a planet and colonize it, you'll go all the way to the planet, and then it won't colonize it. So let's go and colonize this big, beautiful planet right here. Excellent. What else did we have show up on our log? We have a new tech level, and we have our satellites. Let's go there, and let's launch them into space. Excellent. So there we go. We have our first tier satellites out in space ready to go. And they are doing a good job protecting this planet here. All right. Now we have, um, sorry, over here in our log, we have upgraded our uranium cannons. Now these satellites here that have the uranium cannons on them still have the older tier on there. And they will have that older tier in there until I have uh, a way to upgrade them. Otherwise, they're just going to sit here with this older technology. That's okay for right now, but later on, we're going to want to have some better satellites out in space. So let's upgrade our design because our design still has the older technology on it, and we're going to hit the upgrade button. Ba bam! 
and there it automatically upgraded all the components that could be upgraded. In this case, our depleted uranium cannons. And let's change the name, depleted uranium cannons version three. And it's upgraded in a way that it's gonna be able to hit a little bit more. The last, the number twos were actually only the first three spaces uh, distance away, and it only did 25 worth of damage. So obviously now we have a larger range and a more impact. Perfect. Create design. So there we go. We have our two various tiers. Now you can keep these tiers over here, but it's going to start getting confusing as your designs start to build up. So we're going to go over here and select hide obsolete. And that's going to take away the option for the smaller one right here. Um, oh, no, we have to also select it to make obsolete. So we're going to select this older model here and we're going to make it obsolete. There we go. So it's still there. And if I were to take away the hide obsolete, you'll see that it pops back up. But for the sake of what we're doing here, we're just gonna make it go away for the time being. Good. Oh, we have some ships that require some orders. He's just looking around, opening up spaces. Ooh. I'm already looking around for strategic advantages for various um, sectors, various systems. Alright, let's give this guy some orders. Good stuff. All of our movements are done. Let's go to our building queues. Alright, so this guy here has finished completing all of these satellites, so let's make him build some more satellites and let's go over here and hit only latest that gets rid of our obsolete satellite let's give him some more smashing oh there we go so that's good that's good we're researching things good stuff Excellent. Now, this is a big planet, which means we'll be able to put a lot of facilities on here that can do various things. Um, one of the main things I want to do, because this is a new unexplored system, is I'm going to want to put a resupply depot and a construction yard in here. And that will allow ships that are coming through to repair and resupply at this planet. Also, when you colonize a new system, one of the planets in that system is going to require a spaceport. That spaceport allows all of the planets in here to be able to trade resources with all of the planets in your other systems. And if you don't have a spaceport in here, uh, it just sits and doesn't get supplies from the rest of the empire. So this planet here is going to be multifunctional. So I'm just going to name it a military installation because we're going to make it do uh, a few different things. We have our new satellites finished let's go over here and launch them get them out of our cargo bay so we have more room for the rest of it and we have our new colony go to there we go now this indicator here is exactly what I was just talking about this says that we don't have a spaceport in this system that's what this function is big red spaceport facility this planet can have 25 facilities so we're gonna be able to do lots of things on here um, so for the time being, I'm just going to put a bunch of different things on here. Eventually, as we get more expanded out, we'll be able to specialize this planet to do one thing, whether it's just mining or it's just research or something to that effect. But for right now, we're going to put a bunch of facilities on here because we need, we, need, we need to upgrade our empire a little bit here. So let's do... Oh, no. We want to do this first. Yes. Uh, we want our resupply depot our space yard facility so we can again resupply and repair and we need our spaceport for our system to be able to talk to the rest of the systems now we can put in our stuff so let's put in our basic mining stuff and a research center and let's just keep doing that until we're full beautiful and the moment you hit the limit 
it'll let you know. All right, so he's going to be building for some time, and I'm just going to let him be. Let's give these guys some orders. Now, this scout here, he's all the way up here. I believe this right here is our home system. He is uh, just below uh, halfway on his supplies. So we're going to send him back. And to do that, we're going to select this button here, resupply at nearest. And he's going to go to the nearest planet or base or whatever that has a resupply depot. There he goes. Pew, pew. Uh, we're still good for supplies on this guy, so let's make him explore a little more. Ooh, look at all the green planets in here. Ooh, this is a good system. Unfortunately, I can only make colonizing ships so fast. Good stuff. All right. Excellent. Hey everyone, this is Saucy Noodles, and thanks for watching my video on Space Empires 4. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe, and we'll bombard you with notifications every time we put out a video. Thanks a lot, and stay saucy.